prisoners if they try to escape, meaning they get out of their cells during the op, go ahead and shoot them in the face repeatedly. So, uh, name of the game is going to be to preserve your ammunition and preserve your um, your concealment because the moment that they know we're here, they are going to have overwhelming firepower because we have very limited ammunition. So, what we're going to do, we're going to spread out with our ball squad on the FOB proper. We're going to have Phoenix's squad covering the prisoner cell location. We're going to have Dwarf squad screening in the Marksman March location. And we are going to have Clay J setting up in the Neva foothills and moving out for a forward reconnaissance mission on the machine gun marker. Now, with all that being said and done, um, I want you all to have fun. I want you all to be careful. And I want to see you all in about two hours uh, when this thing's all over. Everyone understand? Yes, sir. Copy that. Copy that. Mm -hmm. Got right. Yes, sir. Do not shoot the prisoner Roger. unless they try to escape their cell or they escape their cell. So, um, everyone will be handed to their squad leads for um, final All right. Race. So, you heard a little bit of uh, what's going on here on Iron Man. Militia captured a couple of uh, Russian officers. Live lie, according to our uh, so Ben Foo. So the Russians are going to stroll up in here and attempt to secure the whole entire area. They're, we're using the Gordok Skirmish V1 layer of uh, the map here on Gordok. So that's Russia versus Mill. That's also a very small subset of the map. As you can see, when I zoom out my map here, you see Gordok's much bigger than this. But we're only using this small portion. So there's a limited amount of there's a really a limited number of vectors that Russia can use to assault in. You can see Russia split their squad, their platoon up into two squads, attacking north and attacking west to east. They're moving out right now. They're moving out. They've got about a click to cover as far as terrain's concerned before they're able to start assaulting Neva. So we're going to take a look at some of these uh, Russian are some of these militia positions, as well as go over who's actually running so, this uh, uh, well, uh, game. On the ground for militia, Storm 49's commanding with Phoenix second in command. Dorf, Clay J, and Oddball are going to be his squad leads. Don't be too close on the door long. So they won't for Russia, Alphabito's running Russia. He's got Shukar in second in command, along with Sloth, Sebiv, and Nuclear Twister 6th. And they are running squads for Russia. Militia loadouts are complicated. Just one person take that. I'll do another one. Times, uh, Most times in the squad ops, you know, there are special roles that uh, militia get to have in their squad, or each team has in their squads, uh, more than just the squad lead and rifleman. Uh, this time, that's not the case. Squads for uh, squads for militia have one squad lead. And that's it. Keep in mind, guys, we got seen all here, these uh, Don't be afraid. Yeah, we're trying to figure out where to go. We've seen here various Thank you. Good uh, to pull out forces southeast. moving, going Thank through positions. Through Militia loadouts, one squad lead per squad, and that's it. Everyone else is a rifleman. The militia loadouts also include four lats and two medics for the entire platoon. They also have a Lodgy. However, that Lodgy is extremely limited in its contents. They only have 200 units of ammo and 2,000 units of build. So plenty of fortifications that they can build around their... Uh, Dude, this is perfect. They, they can build prisoner. around I'm Neva. As you can see, they've built most of these around yeah, the uh, prisoner right. bay. Yeah, you can exactly. see they have a, a few sandbags around here. Things to keep the prisoners in and generally shield them from and, stray uh, rounds because they want to try to keep these guys alive even though they really don't care. Right, so See Money Man, one of the hostages here with Kuba, his uh, his compatriot, who's also been captured with him. 
<laughs> Getting close to contact here. Let's go over Russia's uh, role real quick. Russia's loadouts. Each squad has uh, one SL and two LMGs. Platoon has two LATs, two engineers, and two medics to spread out over the entire platoon. They also have a transport and a Lodgy. However, they don't get a FOB. And since the uh, since the militia are holding their um, mechanized sort of they're holding their mechanized crewman hostage there's an asset that they're not getting this round that's a particularly strong asset for russia you see here russia uh the furthest infantry closest to the enemy uh that is militia taking up occupation here in the rocks in charlie four five they have a pretty good view over the field and no reports on militia command about these contacts. Come on, watch the ROV. Don't fire until you see And the white Storm informing eyes. his platoon right. to not return fire or open fire. Eyes on and as I say that, another command com comes through that is a contact Are report. No, it's Dwarf has Southwest. eyes on the Russian platoon here Southwest. in 4 or 5. Charlie a single contact. Copy that. Well, there's one, there's more. Keep a close eye on it. If you can kill him, so go ahead and take a shot. shot out on him. Keep your heads down as we maneuver. Take... And, oh, yeah, no. The no, militia are opening up against Russians? Be they hit your nightmare. We cannot survive. And the Russian... But the other part here is that... The, oh, the Russians look like they might be opening up here against targets of opportunity. The other thing here is that militia have limited ammo, ammo to use. Do not be afraid to pull back. The entire team on militia um, have only uh, what they could spawn in with a rally. At. So they're very limited on ammunition. All the light units from militia have rockets that are resupplying. With the 200 ammo that is at the bob. Enemy infantry spotted at Charlie 4. And that's it. Unknown Russians have an entire that, entire complement of uh, ammunition to go with all of their forces. The militia are having to very carefully pick their engagements here. And I think they're regretting. I think they're regretting using their uh, opening salvo to only wound one person on Russia right now. As you can see, the Russians have two squads maneuvering to the north, uh, northwest of Bunker Ruins right now. And that's a great position because they have all sorts of defilade to the militia in the Neva. But militia have spread themselves out pretty well matter of fact we got sebi here leading a russian squad they're on the, the southern edge of the operation zone and they're they're moving out they're gonna run into a militia line here pretty soon militia have a couple squads plus another one in a relatively close reserve position along this southern flank in neva and you can see atomic here in squad three he is part of the force that's pushing up north here he's pushing towards bunker ruins all right lego and zach you watch your spacing guys yeah you guys are waiting. Going out the lima one. looking ball. out to his right, southwest here uh is no, about mm, 300 meters or so away from right, Russian right, contacts that are maneuvering right, southwest, right, probably right, just right, beyond right, his line of sight right, through right, these trees. Right. It's difficult to see. I see. Okay, yeah, they've got one RPK set up. They have seen us, I think. Are you sure it was an overshoot from our guys shooting at them? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was an overshoot. <sighs> Lip also looking I've in the direction. My boss up on he might actually be part of a fire team that's looking in the base. direction too. One's got a large place to. Oh, shit, one from militia have a large out. direction to look through. How many? How many? Uh, and squad. now we have squad. in the south. 
Cold some block. militia Charlie four, nine, engaging nine, Russian forces directly. But Russians using more suppression. Rounds landed pretty close to box your acorn here. Fuck these guys. Everyone is semi-auto here, but you can see there's a fire team's worth of Russians on the opposite ridge. They're taking shots at everyone. Liberal Pundit is actually looking this direction. He falls back a little bit. I think he's looking for the right I'm shot here. Glad oh shit. Considering oh, me. they Bad probably me. only okay. have like two, you know, magazines, maybe three. That's not a lot to work with. Liberals engaging Chameleon here at about a range of 150, maybe 200 Copy meters that. from here. Raj, I can't cover. He's Liberal like getting it. shot at from Efang right, and Vladimir Putin, adding to pressing fire here. Efang sets his AR down, and I think he's adding a lot more fire. Oh my god, that went right past my fucking head. Boxy are almost getting clipped in the yeah, face. Definitely the tale of haves and haves nots, and uh, you know, militia have not. The Russians have. Uh, command be advised, I still see contact in those rocks. Copy that, that's probably the case of fire. Liberal just on the edge of trying to figure out where these guys are and being able to return fire here. He's got Binox, he's looking for, he might be looking at Efank, trying to get eyes on this AR, try to call it out. Oh my god. How liberal hasn't been hit yet is amazing. Efank is missing to his, uh, to liberal's right and his, uh, to over his. It's actually tremendous. Oh yeah. We're pretty good on them, we're trying not to. This AR is pissing AR of Efank here just sending. Round after round, right at Liberal Pundit, just keeping him suppressed behind here. No doubt, telegraphing his position, you know. Tracers work both ways. Squad 2 is taking accurate suppressive fire from the southwest. Command, I have contact, Delta 449. South Appreciate West. you guys tuning in right now. We got nearly 35 viewers. Appreciate you guys showing up. <laughs> Share the stream with a friend. I we know. got more to come. Ooh, round running. Really close to Liberal Pundit there. Meanwhile, we're taking a look at the Russian positions here. Moving in on militia. Really close in contact here with the Northwest. We're going to take a look at that. Squad 2 Militia moving, uh, there's a fire team plus, they're actually in contact here. Multiple, multiple Militia down as Russia rush in. Mr. Muffs here takes down Big Rago. They're with really close to contact here. Looks like a fire team that was extended out by Squad 2 Militia. And that shit hard, taking down Mr. Muff. Russia have a supreme position here. Look at this bunker. It's looking out over you know, the entire militia, the uh, most northwestern position here. This is oddball, I think, part of the squad. Or running the squad, rather. And we got a, we got a Atomic Peach here. He's looking... Uh, He's maneuvering around, he's got himself some rockets on his back, and he wants to shoot something. But right now, they've just lost a man, they were able to kill a couple more here on Militia. They know that they're real close to a Militia position here, they're just trying to cover themselves. Where are you shooting? I have no eyes. Copy. Yep, go ahead and uh, Sebi leading uh, squad two. Three, let me know when you're ready to push the north. It looks like they've started to push across the 
the uh, the forested area next to this major field where the exchange was supposed to take place. All right. Love you too. One fire team's completely in the forest. The other one seems to be on this ridge line next to the railway. See, they're taking a uh, uh, a position here in this small shed that's got some fencing around it. This is great for them because they're able to look out and still move ahead. But the rest of Sebi's squad here, moving rock to rock, trying to get eyes on militia positions here and oh boy they're definitely in but militias all spread out you can see everywhere there are blue triangles all over the screen in front of this squad so we squad is real close as a matter of fact his fire team goes in and one of them goes down immediately. Imanaz is dead. Looks like more Russians move are moving cover to cover here, and they find themselves a shed pretty close to Dorf and Squad 3 for Militia. Sebi himself is now moving up to try to meet the rest of his squad to try to direct them uh, closer to the action. I imagine they're just looking for fortifications because I imagine they're looking at fortifications as a sign that prisoners are kill those prisoners if they escape. Ooh, Revy gets the same rush, but as same runs through a building, uh, runs through a doorway. Flicker's you also one, right. Yeah, we got one. There was and two, Revy two. knows Flicker's over here. I wonder if he has a grenade. Most likely, he probably doesn't. There's guys south, it's all right. Matter of fact, most likely, militia don't have grenades. Elite and coolest guy run. Coolest guy goes down to heavy. And Elite has to bandage. Hawk He's hears bandaging. him through the He's wall. Bandaging. And the grenade goes out. He's bandaging. Might have been a grenade, but Elite goes down. It was a militia grenade for sure. More frags tearing up the side of this building here, but militia holding their position. Is that enemy smoke? On dark. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Enemy smoke. I think there's only one or two left here. We have enemies coming up. Russia throwing a squad way up in the north. Skirting around, but. Enemy contact on the 49. I've got enemy fire team or squad size element running up. This spot's really paying off. Dorf reporting in that they're definitely getting charged right now. I'm the Gilly suit man. I want you to hold them from pushing him. And so far, the Russians are holding, are continuously going out here. Here we see Silent has got himself on the top of the sandbag and crawling around doing stuff. Real close. He's got himself a sandbag next to a wall here. He's able to peek out up over top. Of There's a smoke. There's smoke further once you see. He's taking his time, peeking. He takes a shot. Oh, he flaps distraction. He's there too. Silent with two kills. You see Sebi running around here. I think he's trying to get in the fight. He's pretty close too. Seeing more fire from militia come out here. I haven't seen anyone yet. Other than those initial contact. In the bushes over here. I, I got that, but I still can't see Russian him. smokes covering their position, but they're still finding the wrong way to actually get through the smoke. And looks like we got a little repositioning here from Russia. They're going to throw the remainder of squad three to the north they're going to join squad four up there they're going to make a push from north to south two squads still down here in the south for russia doing relatively well but they're just hitting this wall of spread out militia presence that they can't overcome right now command this is 
is one buddy pair dispatched to Fours aid. And it looks like Squad One over here on the east is going to send a buddy pair north. Might actually run into these guys here in Neva. Let me take a look at this to see what's up. Doesn't normally work that way for me. Got hit bust and death <laughs> magnet. Buddy team moving straight north. They're going to run into Force Bravo fire team, which is nuclear twister. Oh, and actually, that's silent. Oh, we got about 30 seconds to get out of the capsule. And they're moving parallel right now. They're trying to move around near the lower village here, prop. Russian forces still still being stopped on the southern front here. Just in time. So I imagine Russian forces trying to reposition what they can for a northern attack. Continue your conservation of them. There may have been more of them than we know. You see the prisoners at the bottom of my screen. You can see Money Man's perspective in there. It's still pretty quiet around there. However, the Russians are getting closer. Looks like within about a hundred, we'll call it, we'll call it 200 meters. Just about 200 meters away, Russians to the north, and there's a squad size element that's only. It looks like they're only looking at maybe three militia right now. And they're being suppressed. We got Phoenix here with Vegetal and Magical Moon. Hop to the up, so I get out of here. They got some uh, sandbags here for cover. But they're getting suppressed pretty hard right now by Rainbow Six. Phoenix radioing up the chain of command that something fishy is going on up north for sure. And I think he's right about that. Sugard leading the squad up here. Looks like he's getting his buddy team to start filtering through. Moonman spots Twister. Close left. I think Moonman just spotted Twister. He's going to get his rifle out. I've just lost the guy. He's calling out fire. Taking some shots at uh, Matt Nuclear Twister and Rainbow Six here. As they're crossing the field, moving south. Russians still suppressing this position. Matter of fact, I think Phoenix just died. Hey man, we're holding the south side pretty fucking good. If you need to reposition somewhere, look at Copy that. I want you to reinforce force uh, current location. Oh, fast. Lama, sign squad. I'm sorry? Lima being with seven. Militia Squad 1. Uh, Headbuster, they're driving to your east on D366, Lone. We could have seen him from our hill that we were on. He's still holding the line here, but he's falling back as Squad 1 for Militia has right been recalled to the main okay. Neva defense. Moving parallel to some Russian forces that were deployed all the way out of here to the, east, to the northeast. See Lima being moving close to his squad lead here. But he's got the team moving him on the west side uh, to engage the enemy. Santa couldn't hit that guy. Russians making progress yeah, up here in the north. All right. They're uh, moved in on Neva proper here. There. Starting to move south. They're getting real close. So within 150 meters of prisoners. They're not going to come over the top of the rocks. They're going to come around the, one of the edges. High or low. Londar's trying to figure out how to deal with... I saw one peek oh, yep. and he sees... Top the ridge, top the right, east of the rocks, yep. Looks like maybe, uh... Silas or Chadius? Yeah, I don't see him. Chadius Thaddeus, what a name. Command, uh, unknown. Oh, I got eyes on. Well, I mean, has eyes on. Ridge, Looks like maybe Chadius here. Yeah. Taking some shots. Uh, 350 exact. He was peeking there, he's gone now. And... I'm pulling. Maybe Miratimus is actually who's shooting at. Well, they still might come from our south, just to let you know. I'll just be where you Speaking of people that could... Oh, Lima gets pink from the north here. I think that's Chadius. Yeah, get down. Get down. Yeah. I'm good, though. Lima's surviving here. Understood for bringing people in for you right now. 
Russians getting real close here. Yeah, pull between you. And Russians pull. now close to within Careful, I'm local range yeah, they're of we gotta, their we prisoners. Now their prisoners definitely going to be trying to relay as much information as possible. As far as defenders here, there's only a fire team defending inside the barn. Defending the prisoners. There's a Russian fire team right outside this fence here. Copy. They're on the north side. Storm is uh, moving up here to try to maybe directly engage, and that's exactly what he seems to be doing. Sugar's still alive here, with uh, Efank. No, not Efank. I lied. Enemy forces stretch. He's got Zaki and Fight Milk. Sugar scaling the fence. He's going up and over. No one on militia is looking at this. I think someone just tried to shoot at Sugar here. He threw a grenade inside. Yeah, that was a nade Storm is moving up close. Get ready. John Daly goes down to Zaki. Oh, oh no! But Storm through the fence. Sorry, there was that much yeah. No, that wasn't a problem. They, they won't be able to get any up here. Down in the, uh, so so the, so the Russian fire team that's closest to contact here. Reloading. For the prisoners, they're in. I think there's two. Can I get a Command, I'm, uh, and the uh, uh, prisoners are all alone again. We're going to come assist the north side. Copy that. I got two down, down close got it. We got him. I put my on the line. I do away. not have eyes on the prisoner. We're waiting to listen for them to start taking the sandbags, but I don't know if they've taken them yet or not. More than and they know, they the prisoners are alone again. Right on the prisoners. As. It would have been a tall order to get about. Look at this. Look at this position. Look at this protection here. Uh, east two layers east east of east double east tall, east or east two east layers east of east double up sandbags. So look at how much ridiculousness it would have God, taken man, Russia to have to dig these out. Can't it. It was a Storm's weird thing been hit to do, though. Honestly, like uh, I could have done the same thing. He's like, looking around just to make sure that no one's like, yeah, creeped up on his prisoners here. Taking a look at uh, yeah, uh, yeah, casualties here. Yeah, no, he, I think he was bleeding. Uh, so can I try and come militia you, a lot. Copy. Russian. Right, this time let's not shoot. Russian the plus thirty. Yes, 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 Roger. But I'm, I'm not, not sure I'm if not the numbers accurate. That, so if someone comes out, as yeah, we've had to nice. fix some things. Looks like I see. Oh, so did we. Yeah, maybe so five did Russians left at this point. Yeah, so there's five Russians left. Seems to be a fire team force from Squad Four. It's a nuclear twister, and then someone out in the south here also surviving. So maybe we got six people as a Russian squad gets engaged from range here. Russian squad trying to prone in here, trying to get in. Bravo, uh, fight team has been engaged to the north before. Copy that, be careful. Everyone continue conserving. It's pretty out. impressive. I wonder how many people on militia have actually rearmed. Since there's no vehicle to look for, um, I mean, what do? Medics allowed. Um, medics are not reviving players in one life operation. And we limit the number of kits. A lima bean's dead here. Looks like uh, Uncle Niner, along with Silas, the long, the long uh, bet, you know, sneak on the far east side pays off with a kill. Maybe more coming, but they got a lot to cover here. We still have contact in the Eva foothill. The medics don't revive players in one life operations unless they're specifically told to yeah. do so. And those are generally way. things designed into operations. In most operations, <laughs> they ain't revived. 
Or no, I don't know. Okay. Keeps things competitive, yeah, keeps things they're, pretty they're streamlined. Okay. SL, do you want me to head do you want to head to the building east so I can get a better view? Seeing Silas, Chadius, and uh, Uncle Niner here. Maybe with one more in tow, they're flanking around here. Although Rainbow Six, I think he just went down as part of uh, J2 Guns and Vader. They're actually real close to to a militia guy. Long. Oh no. Zabari. Holy. Sh I got two enemies. They just crawled next to me. Oh, really? Zabari was crawling in the field too, and he gets two kills. What do you know? Like That's why you don't turn your fixed volume down, folks. Is in close contact. Goodness sakes. So everyone in the right, south, guys, everyone in the north is dead. Oh my god. So the only Russians left are just looks like five guys. Two, I want you to spread your security. And they're reflanking, they're retaking positions here in the south. They're going to push up from the south again, maybe to try to catch militia while they're off balance. Heck, we even have Chadius here. He's crawling through the freaking field. He's going to town. Roger, squad two is uh, just in there, security to the uh, southeast. Nuclear Twister throwing some rounds down range here. He's uh, serving as, I guess, a sort of distraction for us. Of course, militia don't have rounds to play with, but they're just going to fire back anyway. Why not? Ooh, he hits Tortilla. Alright, we still got guys Delta 338. Militia Command trying to communicate that there's still people to the southwest, or the southeast here. Long and, and Oddball having a having a buddy team flank all the way around here. Matter of fact, take it from there. They're you know about 150 meters out, but they could get here in time because Nuclear Twister is obviously base of fire as the rest of the Russian team moves to the buildings to his southwest. They're gonna start pushing north here. Matter of fact, Chadius Thaddeus leading the formation out here. Could reasonably start uh, assaulting buildings that are occupied by uh, militia. He goes back inside. I think he's hanging out here. Silas and uh, his uncle Niner nearby. Mir uh, uh, Tinker Bell. Enemy infantry close southeast of two. Oh, and three. looks like what? What? Looks like. The infantry close to Dorf just got called out. Close to you, south, southwest. And now that Dorf knows to look for it, I bet you they're gonna. Oh, multiples being shot at now. Maybe from Oddball's position, Silas got spotted here standing up. Chadius opened up. Shooting along with uh, maybe salty potatoes in the victim's window. Silas gets destroyed as Demon Einstein runs up on Demon Einstein Chadius goes down and gets shot up from the window. And uh, Tinkerbell's dead. He just stands up and shoots him. And I believe that's everyone down here. Understood. Uh, I'm gonna throw yeah. a nail that way anyway. Yeah, it's everyone down here, I think. Oh, maybe someone's still up? No. So I think it's just up to Nuclear Twister now. Enemies coming from for my brother fight. To save the remaining hostages. Shoot salty potato through Nuclear Twister running into the field. Gets gunned down by multiples. Maybe Tortilla. Maybe Dwarf, maybe Guz, 
And if I'm not mistaken, that's GG. So round one is done. Militia hold their position. Wrong with this plan. Meanwhile, militia. Three and four. All right, because we're going to have to prisoners. Looks like they're heading their way to the meeting. Do you want us to go ahead and rearm as much as we can off of the what we have now? Just Russian to, prisoners so are in the field. Them. They're moving. Uh, yeah, go for it. Money Man has lats first. his partner in crime, Cuba. All right, Sloth, uh, we got, looks like they're over down by like Charlie 487. Uh, I got movement down there. And militia forces uh, calling yeah, out current that. contacts to themselves right, right now. Your, uh, I went down out of... There's only one squad here overseeing the exchange, and militia are holding their positions behind the ridge line, keeping an eye on this exchange. As the Russian commander himself taking the responsibility on himself to pick up the. Wow. This is the sign of a true gentleman. A man who drives a tin can with six wheels into what could feasibly be his death to rescue you. Uh, the prisoners uh, did not the just escape. The rest of your squad, they were uh, they were told to march in a certain south, direction the the, uh, until they saw friends. The, uh, field. Roger, you also, if you guys are what they're bringing, they're bringing Matter of fact, they are signaling back to their uh, militia uh, captors uh, just now that they have met up with their friends south. and that they're a okay and that everything is cool and that their supplies will be coming soon in the form of humanitarian aid packages and black market shipments of weapons of ammunition. But of course we know that this is not the case. And the militia command is also out to do things. He's brought along someone to help gun these people down if it's the case. Yeah, I don't know what you're speaking right now. I see your mouth moving. The language barrier is strong. The Russian commander, the militia commander are now running off to their line. Oh, everyone gets in. And there's a happy family happening here. I would recommend this is... This is a mediation for the history books, right? Uh, save ammo for the rest of the Roger that. The militia commander receiving the goods. Is attempting to uh, communicate with the rest of his team here. And. Oh, and the goods have been delivered. Right, Get it. The Russians make good. This is an unexpected turn of events. And both teams, both commanders part their separate ways. The prisoners have been returned and the supplies have been granted. And we are now live with the exchange undertaken. Russian Roger. forces spread out along their line. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some militia forces have actually been forward deployed in anticipation of treachery. We have the goon and relish here. They're moving up. They're the buddy team. They see okay. you stay where the Russians then. are. I'll I'm so confused right now. They, they have reports of where the Russians are. And now they're moving toward I, I, they're I, sort of moving alongside. Relish, are you, uh, are you grenade, are you fucking lot? Yes. Okay, yeah, stay back a bit. These guys are forward deployed. Maybe they're looking at, uh, maybe they're so <laughs> looking so at trying to kill some vehicles here. Meanwhile, we got Lima Bean here, part of the Russian force, getting ready to move out. Holy shit, we have a They know the militia are in this area. In between them, that should be good. 
Looking at Peach, part of uh, right, Squad 3 here for Militia. They've moved up north to Bunker Ruins. Yeah. They're setting up a yes. OP just in case shenanigans happen. Go ahead and reload your primaries. Make sure you got a As Neva is no longer an important location. Oh, no. Contact. Looks like Militia have spotted two squads worth of Russians running across a field. In the tree line itself. Got your nightmare here. He's got eyes on. Looks like Dorf, Lima Bean, Liberal Pun, Evan, Fox here. A bunch of soldiers moving their way across to the south of this militia line here. And militia trying to suppress. This is a hell of a spot, too. It looks like about 200 meters of distance here. Both and whole team. squad being called out multiple times by these soldiers here. You can barely see them moving through. The Russians are just looking. They are really just looking at here. Now they're starting to turn north. And now the Russians starting to take some more effective fire as they start moving north, getting closer to the militia. Lima being along with Lex Ryan here, really forming the tip of this spear for this squad, for these two squads here. They're still moving northeast. Clearly, the, the, amica, the amicable prisoner's exchange has given way. Ooh, Lima gets pink. And he has to bandage for his life. Perhaps they're getting shot at by uh, Uncle Niner here and Efank's team, Take a position along with Sibby. Let's make it even shorter. I was trying to figure out where that came from. Oh my god. He's got Lex Ryan pointed in the right direction. Lima's scanning that ridge line. I bet you he sees him. Lima pulls out his gun. Maybe he's looking to shoot some folks. He can barely see even from here. Vladi Poutine's running around. You got Sebi with Binox out. And Uncle Niner has himself a decent position behind some rock. But they have eyes directly on this position. You see Lex Ryan's prone. It's the only reason why he's not getting blown up here. Speaking of getting blown up here, the BTR has arrived. The crewman being rescued. This is going to be a huge... A huge target for militia forces. As you can see, some Russians are behind the BTR. They're going to move with the BTR to get some mobile cover here as they're going to move across this field. Risky, but it could pay up. Meanwhile, militia forces, look at the map. They've searched two squads. Three, four hundred meters away from me. And they're attacking the Russian squad that was overseeing the exchange, which includes Russian command. They're having shots on them. There's a little field in some of the uh, tree lines, or between some of these tree lines here. And Zabari's looking this direction too. You gotta imagine, he's got his binox out, looks like, right now. And you gotta imagine he's hearing shots come from this direction. Atomic Peach goes down. Storm destroys Atomic Peach at like 200 meters. What a shot from Russia Command. Three and four. If you guys take 50 percent casualties, I want you falling back. Militia still on this push. Safari and Peach doing a little dance, trying to figure out what they can shoot at on this ridge line here. is cool and storm has his squad lead oddball over here uh, 
this is still a real problem for Russia. Two squads are now pushing past their left flank. And they're coming around. Militia looking to close the door on the Russian position here. As Russia pushed out from their main, they've pushed past a transport vehicle. What a turn of events here for this operation. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. There's a close contact firefight happening over here in the south. A fire team looks like maybe Squad 2 fire team gets completely descended on. They're fighting a reverse slope battle. Multiple casualties. Commander Cosmonaut Sloth goes down. I don't get shot. This dead. Imanaj just eats a grenade. Dwarf and his squad have just rolled up on a fire team. And Chameleon has lost his entire unit. And he's hiding from Russians. He knows this time is short. Russians may be not pushing off the cliffside here. But, wow. That's gotta suck for militia right now, knowing that you've sent a fire team out and you've lost a lot of them. We're gonna switch back to the western battle here, as now we have Russians closing within, within 50 meters here. Lucid eats a grenade. Part-time ninja turtle is hit. He's he's bandaging and crawling back as Shugheart leads a militia charge. And he's pulling his team back. Lego dude eats a grenade from some uh, a full frag rush there from militia or uh, from Russia. Shugart continuously trying to get his guys to, you know, get his guys to move a little bit south. We're going to need a little extra support. You're sliding a little too far without actual contact. Are they on our side of the road? Uh, I don't know. Charlie, make spread out. Death magnet. Me, got the uh, BTR moving a little bit back to the west now. I think they're going to try to they're going to try to look at Militia Squad Four here. I imagine the panic will increase as this BTR continues to get closer. We're seeing a Russian position, a very pretty solid Russian position just shooting at any militia that militia force has been fragmented the squad that was attacking the oversight squad here for Russia is disconnected and squad 4 SL goes down for militia along with a few other people this uh, BTR is like right on top look at this money man and Cuba have a fire team pinned in a creek all right who's squad lead now uh, I don't think we get a new squad lead, we should uh, move back to squad no, lead. It defaults and to there else. goes Thick Eve. Think, oh shit, yeah, that's fucking cool. beautiful. Or Thick IEV or something. BTR just cuts them down. And now they're taking shots from the militia or the Russian infantry. These guys are stuck in a creek. And here comes the BTR. Okay, and Kuba. One, two. Hi. And Tinkerbell gets pink from the ridge line to his uh, east, and he goes dead. That is brutal. Militia Squad Four getting destroyed. This western, this western push out here not working out. Rainbow Six is dead. I think the entirety of Squad Four is actually dead now. Whoa. And Militia sending 
are keeping their two squads now close. The remainder of squad three, Shookhart, commanding his forces to fall back. Contact us to my south is now moving west. Copy. Copy that too. I'm gonna chill up in the trees over here. Shookhart trying to do what he can. Fight milk, you take. Knowing that he is outgunned and he could, you know, the contact could be coming from anywhere. He wants to set up a crossfire on this position uh, to try to catch the Russians as they move north. Fight milk, you take this, take this bush up. I'm gonna take this one. If sugar, we're gonna sit in ambush and see if we can get a few. If not, then we'll lie low and come. Depending on how far up that hill Sugar moves, he could get himself spotted. That leaves Bill Rago and Fight right, Milk out of contact with him. Potentially. Where are militia lats? That's a great question, uh, Scrooby. Who knows? It's a great question. The only militia lats that I think ex still exist at this point have got to be in the town in Neva. And there's no way they can effectively gauge BTR from here. Speaking of the BTR, it's found the railway. And if Kuba has any eyes, he might actually spot Shugart's fire team lying in wait here. It stops. I think it spotted someone on the ridge line. It may have seen. F nope. Turret's still scanning. Ooh, it stopped. Maybe it saw Fight Milk. Although Fight Milk's prone. I think they're still scanning for contacts and the BTR moves on. It moves into the field where the prisoner exchange took place. Familiar territory for this crew. And now the BTR is in danger. Depends on if militia can mobilize some... Uh... Ooh, looks like Fight Milk dies to the BTR. And now Sugheart with his perhaps last words to command as matter of fact he's got storm like 10 meters over um he's looking for he's looking to send up position of the btr to command but storm is real close it's sitting on top of the hill in the middle this is a bad position to maybe see but you can see sugar He's got eyes on the BTR, and the Russians are very close. Matter of fact, this is platoon command for Russia. Storm, he's hiding here. Shukart, with eyes on the BTR the entire time. Maybe this BTR knows that someone's nearby. Maybe he sees... Maybe he shot the one person he's looking for, a buddy. Ooh, he's real close. Sugar, staying still. With Storm right on top of him. Ooh, if Sugar just turned... Oh, the BTR gets Sugar. Now Big Rago's all by himself. Three's down. Big Rago, a fire team leader, actually gets command comms. So he might have some additional information to pass up the chain. But the BTR doesn't know he's there. He's not ragdolled by the BTR going over him though. So the BTR assumes he's not there. Big Rago might actually be able to have a chance to clip out Russia Command. BTR is going to reposition to reattack Neva. Okay, Big 
kills me, I don't care. That was just that was just funny. Oh, oh, big Rago. The eye in the sky sees, my friend. Oh, Storm actually got pinked from Neva. He got hit. Let's take a look at the BTR's position again. Then we're going to take a look at uh, where Militia, what Militia's up to right now. BTR just scanning for contact. Money's the driver for the BTR. Starting to move out a little bit more to his northeast. BTR on top of the hill now. And more command comms for, for militia. Disclosing that position. Just looking for anything to pop right now. Big Rocco's still alive. Russians redeploying here a little bit more to the west. They got a squad up on this hill. I think they're going to put a base of fire up. Take a look at the map. Ooh. Yeah, look, take a look at the map. It looks like we got uh, maybe two squads worth over here. Maybe the casualties are a little bit closer than I thought. You guys are good with nades? Sabari put her squad uh, two here, repositioning back. himself. And Money Man with the BTR in a pretty decent position. He's repositioned it. He's facing his BTR southeast. You see the Russians are now maneuvering a lot more to their west now. Command along with Oddball's squad, remaining squad, they're pushing west across the field. And the BTRs now falling back to maybe support them a little bit as they're going to go up over the sill again. Russian squads are providing base of fire. We're moving east, coming up on this ridge with Clay. They got to make this thing less sensitive to. BTR just slowly moving up towards these uh, ruined fortifications here. This bunker. See Dwarf here. He's occupied a bunker. Multiples coming this way. Oddball's also coming this way with the remainder of his squad. Ooh. I wonder if Kuba might actually see some militia here. Your Nightmare has got himself inside a building. Perhaps not him. But the BTR is going to move forward a little bit. Copy that too. And here we go. Russians engaging up here in the northeast, uh, northwest rather. The BTR slowly creeping up. Relish a uh, lat unit here. This is the closest lat to the BTR. He's got his AT out. He wants to make a kill. And he would be a hero if he hit this BTR in the right place. Matter of fact, he's got himself a pretty close position here. If only he could get out there without getting shot. But the fence is in his way. And the BTR's position with the fences in his way just makes it too difficult for him to make a shot. But if he stays here and he doesn't get discovered, you never know. A, uh, a lat shot on the BTR, if it was straight in the rear... That could be some serious tide changing here for Militia. Ooh. BTR deploying smokes to cover infantry advance as the majority of the Russian team is up here now. Your nightmare trying to communicate directly to Relish over here. 
Ooh. BTR now moving up on the hill. Relish might have a shot at this, actually. I wonder if he can... I wonder if he's ballsy enough to try to shoot it through this fence. Militia are Russian um, infantry now like clearing the, buildings the, next to the, your nightmare. Yeah, like on the south side of your building. Russians looking in. You can see Hawk looking in here with Salty Potato right next to him. Looking in to see. And they might not... I think they know that there's a militia in here. There's some militia in here. Dwarf! Kills Relish! Relish tries to sneak out the back side of his compound. Gets spotted by Dwarf. And looks like maybe a frag from Russia hits Dwarf here. Dwarf trying to bandage. And Dwarf bandages up. Do you actually do you think that hilltop's good or do you want to move into the town? I'll give you a session because I don't quite know what's going on. Russia has a pretty strong position here. More grenades. I think they're trying to grenade your nightmare. Ooh. That's brutal. I think your nightmare ate a frag from a grenade across the room from him. He goes down. Russia closing the noose here. Trying to do what they can. We gotta actually, it looks like a fire team. Oddball with Zabari up here in the north. They've gone on this little flank here. They found a ridge line. This is a pretty strong ridge line to take. Zabari up here trying to spot positions. I met. He's trying to find some infantry moving around, trying to respond to this north e northwest aggression here by Russia. And Sebi is going to move this direction. Ooh, Sebi's going to move directly into this fire team here. He's leading the pack. Oh, no. If Zabari gets eyes back up on this ridge line. Oh, Zabari. Sebi's just running towards him. Sebi's called out. He's trying to get eyes on. But he's running straight into. Looks like a fire team plus and a fire team that's maneuvering around. Where he? Meanwhile, Russians starting to clear Western Neva. They might have guys trying to get on the east side of Neva. So. Seppi more right than he knows. Like they might have guys. He's gonna go up and over. Oddball actually going around him. Eyes on, eyes on close. And Chameleon Three, saw right, Oddball. Seppi saw saw his oh, yeah. sees Eyeball. Chameleon oh, takes a shot at Oddball, and looks like maybe Zabari or Silvers took a shot at Seppi. Oddball turns and destroys Chameleon, though. Looks like maybe a trade. Grenades going up and over Sebi. Sebi hears Zabari trying to hit the rocks. Zabari's on. He, Sebi hears Zabari on the rocks. It makes a pretty distinctive sound. Silvers. Taking shots at Sebi though as he's skylining. And flicker. They're on my right. And maybe uh, maybe Uncle uh, Niner here is Sabari them. too. They're running around up there. Zabari trying to scale these rocks here. Uh oh, maybe he's getting a little closer. Oh. Uh, maybe a no, Sabari's just looking. So Bart's looking at where Sebi came from, switching back to his rifle. Looks like he's going to try to move himself along. Sebi's still up as Russians and militia trading on the uh, northwest side of the uh, area. Uncle Niner. Oh no, that wasn't Uncle Niner. That was Sebi. Sebi traded with uh, Bart. Oh yeah, he heard that. And now more grenades coming up and over. If this bounces bad, ooh, that's real. 
I'm dead. You don't have to come check. Oh, man. Uncle Niner. Resident, uh... I will survive. Yeah, I was waiting for that. I, I... Is that the BTR? No need oh, for that. Oh, speaking of the BTR, it's just rolled up here on the sound. He's looking for any militia over here. BTR has actually been hit by a rocket. You can see the damage here. It's in yellow to me. So that means it's probably around 50%. Oof. Kind of sad I missed that. Russians really clearing out here. Matter of fact, militia forces have been consigned to their radio. Command, it's right in Command is the last squad lead up, aside from... Oh, it's like, oh right is Sloth still up? I'm in the northeast Sloth is still up. And technically, Uncle Niner's now squad lead, as he's a fire team lead that's been promoted. Sloth just holding position here, looking for contact to report. BTR moving towards shots. Uncle Niner. Let's oddball get by him. I think he sees him. Or he heard something. Oh! I saw that bitch too. Oh, that Death one. Magnet. Ends Uncle Niner. Oof. And that's what you get for trying to hold fire in a weird position. It's a valiant effort by Uncle Niner there. The BTR rolls up, uh, shows its ass to the uh, building where all the militia are now. A little repositioning going on here. As uh, I imagine the BTR is just going to switch to HE and just go to town if it could. Oh no. Frag TK is coming in as Russia. Oh, what is this? Dorf has used all his bandages and he's getting bandaged up? Zeke, can you see the doorway? Yeah, I got oh, it. Oh, sandbags in the building. Okay. I, okay. I'm going to try to throw a nade out there. Here comes grenades, possibly. Even my guys, you Be do careful. have a, um, the the a medic down here. Yeah. Oh, and there's also a basement to this building. Okay, FYI. Okay, I'm just gonna the doorway. Fuck it. Okay, I'm gonna hey, throw it. Hey, remember, they have engineers as well. All right, keep your fucking ears open. They could fucking start placing uh, IEDs and C4 on here. Grenade. Grenade in. Oh, out. Grenade. Damaging sandbags, but nothing much. I still have the doorway. I'm watching the other side, too. Killed one. Nice. And that's Zeke. Got damage on box here. Alright, got damage on Salty Potato. Ooh. What? Zeke, you up? Yeah, I'm up. Got the doorway. Right, hey. Zeke is a freaking Terminator right now. Again, they have engineers. Keep ears open. And yep. Alpha Guido. I hear something. I don't know what it is. Trying to tell us guys to keep, no, eye, to keep ears up for the left. engineers. West. There's something just on my right. They use an explosive charge. That's bad news. So it looks like we got Zeke here in the compound with a distraction watching the uh, basement staircase. And Alpha Queen yeah, on the left. is the last line of defense for the radio. Yeah, get ready, boys. Just us left, boys. Hey, does anybody have uh, the door? I gotta reload. Oh, the goons go. in here, too. The goon's on Loading. the staircase watching the front door. It would be hilarious if squad lead came back from that fire alarm. <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. Is he still up? Am I alive? I don't know if he's, he's still up. Oh, oh that's, that's what's wild. happened to Sloth! Sloth, where are you? We need you, man! Oof. Real life takes its toll sometimes. But you gotta put your own safety first. You gotta respect those alarms, man. It's kinda like final light. Oh, I mean, if you have to. What's funneling? The little spikes to the ground. There's San Hippo oh, here, too? Uh, yeah, so there's five militia here? Oh, One, two, 
three. Okay, so here's the question. So there's four in the building here. I think, and then there's a fifth. Oh, there's five in the building here. And Sloth Boy's a sixth outside. Oh, actually. Let's take a look at what. If he lays down, I'll have a good angle on Oh, the PTR now just perforating the building as best it can. I think it's uh Oh, Zeke gets pinged outside a window. We lost Zeke. So Zeke got hit because of sandbags being dug yeah. down or something? I'm not entirely. So uh Russia just shooting the building up. Russia's objective is now this radio. I can't hear you Russia have buddy teams stacked up all along this building. Phoenix and Frost over here on the uh, right, on the east. So last stand. Let's keep it up. Oh, there you go. Squad leaves still alive. Oh. Yo, 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 get away right, from the fucking walls. Let them just place the fucking. Yep, they C4, placed C4. C4. Yep, that just happened. Someone set a charge up here on the We're east side. You could see it right. Uh, left, uh, southeast. It's gonna pop. No, and a one second one just got no one set too. Oh, fuck. Hug the fucking wow. center. Everyone just hug each other. Don't let go. Oh, my God. Oh, good luck, everyone. I love you all. Militia command. Oh! Uh, that actually didn't really kill anyone. Another one out front of the building. Northwest, I think. I think. Nope. Okay, there we go. All right, two of them. And here we go. Oddball. Phoenix. The entire Russian team comes in. They're all upstairs. I hear them. I hear them. I hear them. Militia shooting down from upstairs. They're shooting through the ground. Grenades! If you, if you see their me. gun, shoot through the walls. Nades. Wow. Nade, Nade, get away, get away from that sandbag. Going super wide on the FOB here. Grenades also coming in. Here we go. The first one to peek is the bar, or a ghost, ready, or Frost. Frost gets the goon! Yeah. Saiyan Hippo gets Frost. Russia reorganizing themselves up here. Saiyan Hippo gonna throw a frag. Russians try to get out of the way of the sim. No one gets hit. Next up looks like Phoenix, Salty Potato, or Miyamoto are, gauge, are trying to size up this staircase here. Oh my. And Phoenix. Might need to die Phoenix right coming before. down. He's got a salty potato, or he's got Miyamoto coming around his side. Yeah. Maybe a grenade getting cooked, getting thrown out here. It's gonna bounce off a wall. Doesn't have the distance though. The Russians move back inside. More sandbags come down though. That could help as they clear this area out. But that gives distraction a perfect angle. That's gonna give distraction in San Hippo a great way to shoot in here. I don't think Russians can. Russians spamming a wall. The Russians aren't really going to be able to see them until the last second here. Pre firing the corner like a boss. Oh, and there goes the sandbags back up. A trade there. There goes Phoenix. Uh, Silver. You down? Silver's is down, but distraction got uh, hit, the, and healing. I think that frag was a little short. No friendly fire yet, though. I got a somehow still alive. But the sandbag still getting dis still getting torn down. Oh, what an end to an More frags coming in from Dorf. It hits us. It hits a wall. San Hippo eats a frag! He's dead! 
unlucky for San Hippo. Two can play at this game, you fucks. Russians have thrown a smoke down? There's like a full So it's just distraction in Alpha luck. Guido here. Money man coming right down. He's right behind. I would say he's right behind Storm, but I think I'm just misreading the situation right, here. Ready, Money Man tossing they're smokes in. Frag out. And Alpha Guido gonna add a, add a frag in. Was that oh, yours? maybe not. Nope. Oh, here we go. Distraction takes down Salty Potato. And then Einstein comes around. That's it. Demon Einstein solos the remainder of militia forces here, and that's GG. Oh my god.